Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to jump out or how to bypass a heating and cooling thermostat. So say you have your thermostat set on heat, you have your temperature up, and nothing's happening. I just want to show how to quickly jump out this thermostat in order to test it, even when you don't have a common wired in. If you did have a common wired in, then you could test between R and C for 24 volts on your multimeter. But in this case, we don't have one, so we can't really read the voltage over here, so we're just going to jump out the thermostat. In order to do that, we need to know what each of these terminals mean. R is your 24 volt power for heat. RC is your 24 volt power for cooling. O is actually a reversing valve that powers the reversing valve on a heat pump in cooling mode. So if you have a gas furnace and air conditioning system, O and B are not wired or used. G is for your fan or your blower inside your furnace or air handler. Y is for cooling and that turns your outdoor unit on. W is for heat. C, that's your common, your 24 volt common or your path back in order to power the thermostat. And that would go back to the common side of the transformer inside the furnace or air handler. It's always best to be able to have that C wire connected if you do have enough wires coming uh, into your thermostat. So in this case, you see that C is not being used and you see that the thermostat's on. And the reason for that is we have batteries in the back of the thermostat. This is just a quick reminder that if you're having intermittent problems with your thermostat or the temperatures are inaccurate or uh, it's not turning on your heating, cooling, or fan, and you don't have a C terminal, make sure to replace your batteries with brand new batteries. Uh, weak batteries will create a, a problem with your thermostat. And lastly, B is the reversing valve terminal, and that is to power a reversing valve during heat mode. If you have a furnace and air conditioning system, you'll see that R and RC are connected at the top via this little jumper right here. So since we have a jumper up here, you see R and RC are attached. So we only have to have one hot wire coming in, so that's one 24 volt wire coming into the R, then it jumps over to the RC, and so you know when your thermostat, in this case it's a uh, Honeywell Pro 3000 thermostat, when that turns heat on, it connects this R to the W. When that thermostat turns cooling on, it connects RC right here to Y and G. When it turns the blower on, it connects RC to G. So anyway, if you want to turn your heat on, all you have to do is just connect R to W. You could use a multitude of different things in order to jump it out. In this case, we're going to use mag jumpers. And you see that they're connected to one length of wire. So if we want to jump heat out, we're going to go from R to W. Another way to do it is if we took a piece of thermostat wire and we held onto the insulated part of the thermostat wire and we jumped from R to W. If you had larger head screws here, you could use alligator jumpers like this. We could still use them, you just have to open the alligator jumper up and connect that to the W and connect that to the R like that. So in this case we're trying to turn heat on and if it doesn't turn on, then we would need to go ahead and take a look at the control board or the relays uh, from where these thermostat wires are coming from. We could also do one more test, we want to go ahead and check from RC to G and see if we can get the blower motor to turn on. So if nothing's working at all, like this, if we if we do RC to Y as well, like nothing's happening at all, then most likely you have no power coming into your R. That could be a blown fuse at the furnace or air handler, or it could be a bad red wire. If, however, when you jumped from R to G like this, the blower motor did come on, but when you jumped from R to W, nothing happened, then most likely you have a problem with your white wire or the thermostat itself. Let's go to the control board of this furnace, and then we're going to go ahead and jump it out there. So you want to turn the power off to the furnace, and then you want to get to the indoor control board. You see we have two wires here, or two sets of wires. This one's going to the outdoor air conditioning unit, so that's why it has a wire from Y and C. This is the wire from your thermostat, and it's connected to R, W, G, and Y. So if we wanted to test here to see if we had 24 volts, we could just go from 
or to common. And that's what we didn't have at the thermostat. We didn't have a common to test. So you take your readings with your multimeter. If you do have 24 volts there, then you can go ahead and jump your connectors out. For this test, we would just leave the thermostat off of its sub base. If we wanted to turn heat on, we could just jump from R to W right here. And then we would go ahead and turn our power back on and see if our heat turns on. You may have your blower motor turn on for about 30 seconds in order to cool off the heat exchanger and then your heat will turn on. So you could test your heat out. You could also test your, see if your fan's running. So this should turn on your fan. So then you turn the power on and your fan should just continue to run and run and run and run. You could also test your, your cooling out right here. So anyway, if your heat now runs, so say you connect it from R to W, you turn your, your furnace back on, maybe your blower motor runs for 30 seconds, and then after that the inducer motor turns on on your 80% or 90% efficient furnace, and a sequence of operation for heat starts. If that all happens and it didn't happen when you're jumping it at the thermostat, then that means that you have a bad thermostat wire. If you did jump it out at the thermostat, and it did turn heat on, and that means that you had a bad thermostat. So that's how you bypass thermostat wiring and bypass a thermostat itself in order to test the thermostat and the thermostat wiring out. If either one's a problem, you would go ahead and replace that. If you happen to have a, say in this, in this wiring right here, we only have four wires. If you had a fifth wire, you could change out the problem wire. So in this case, it might have been the, the W right here. So you change that wire out at the control board and at the thermostat. Make sure to have the power off to the furnace anytime that you're inside of the, uh, of the furnace compartment. And if you're looking for the tools I used in this video, I have them linked down in the description below. If you want to support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at EC Service Tech Channel.